Alright, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make a Mac DeMarco type song on GarageBand. So on your iPhone, your iPad, um, not your Samsung. <laughs> Loser. Let's be honest, every basic indie band at this point sounds like Mac DeMarco. His sound has been copied so many times, it's borderline annoying. But that's why I got to contribute to the cause and I got to teach people how to do it even without instruments. Before we begin, if you want to learn how to make indie songs, you want to make rap songs on GarageBand, FL Studio, you name it, consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like this. It's free and you can change your mind whenever you want. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a drum working in the background. So what I have over here is I have the live rock kit sound. Um, and all I really did was just add some ride and then, you know, the simple kick snare uh, pattern. A lot of ride though, keep in mind, you, you need a lot of ride for this. The typical Mac DeMarco song is really just laid back, chill, kind of dreamy. Uh, bedroom pop rock song, I guess sort of inspired by the 70s. So really just keep a very simple beat nothing too crazy and you end up with something like this it sound a little faster you want to have it as, as slow as possible don't not too slow obviously but don't make it sound like it's like a fast moving song anyway once you're done with that we need the bass so in this case i chose liverpool and there's many ways you can go about it this is literally the app for lazy musicians so if you wanted to you can literally for instance go on uh one of these chords this is on the smart chord section and then go edit chord and you can change what type it is, if it's major, if there's a sixth, a major seventh, literally anything, even what the bass note is. Okay, you can shut up now. Um, and as you can see, there's a thing called autoplay. So originally it would be like this, where you can just, just play whatever you want. But if you go over here, you have a different variety of uh, melodies, all on the same uh, scale, obviously, but... I'm gonna do this um, and I literally just took the chords from Blue Boy which is my favorite Mac DeMarco song um, but because that song uses a capo on the guitar it's not gonna be the same chords um, so as you can see I did this I would actually say that this is too fast in my opinion but you know, we're just gonna leave it like that. Maybe you just keep a little bit of momentum. But then once you're done with that, it's time for your guitar. So I chose the classic clean guitar. And before we do anything in the effects, you wanna go over here and you wanna add a chorus. Uh, so you go over here, edit, and well, I can't do it here apparently. That's you know, terrific. But yeah, you go here and just add chorus. And again, you can do um, your autoplay thing. So I use this one instead. <laughs> And to be completely honest, I mean, <laughs> that's basically it. <laughs> you really don't need much for a Mac DeMarco song. However, however, at least for the hook, we need to switch up uh, the sound. So for instance, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a lot more ride over here. And this is, you can do this on the uh, drummer pack, uh, which is basically you go over here and you click drummer. And it gives you a set of different like sounds you can do, whatever. And then you go back over here to your bass and your uh, stuff and you choose. Just something like that, right? And then you do the same with your guitar. I I've completely forgot. And now, a quick thing it's time for the vocal so the way you do it uh, is you go over here and then you go to um, you go to here your recorder I chose lead vocals 
And it's better if you do this with headphones. Friendly reminder that this is the greatest album of all time. Um, so you go over here and I think I can hear myself. Oh my God, yes I can. Why is it so loud? What the? All right, so, so once you have that, the next thing you have to do is you have to crank up the echo and you can go over here and uh, I chose the 60s echo effect and lift this a little bit too. Nothing where it's like way too noticeable, but something where it's good enough. And as you can see, I recorded quite a few uh, melodies. If you want to sound like him, you want to have like a pretty nasally voice. And um, I added some harmonies over here, as you can see. I switched it up for the hook, I guess you can call it. So this is just a quick freestyle thing I did. I didn't really focus on it too much, but. Consider subscribing if you're new here. The ratio between people that watch that are subscribed and not subscribed is, is very, very sad. Um, I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of this year, which will most likely not happen. However, I'm on the grind, you know how it is. So, I mean, if you want to be part of it, part of the journey, I mean, we're at 1.1K, so who says we can't be there, you know? This is Armando Rubio. I make music as well, if you want to listen to. Here's somewhere in like a card over here or an end screen, whatever the hell it is. Thanks so much for watching and uh, just stay awesome. You know?